Now that you can see, I've got me some Japanese beetles, some other pests that are just tearing my stuff up over here. Because I got those beehives over there, I can't hit these uh, plants with a whole bunch of seven dust or anything else. Um, and I know Southern Pepper One just did a pretty cool video about how to capture the bugs and feed them to your chickens, and I think that's a great idea, but I don't have time for that, and I don't have a nine-year-old with nothing to do, so I'm going to show you how to make some uh, bee-safe pesticide or, uh, you know, some deterrence, okay, up in the kitchen. So we were outside just a second ago, I was showing you the Japanese beetles and the other bugs were eating my stuff. Told you that we can't uh, um, go out there and put a bunch of seven dust or other pesticides out there because of my bees. So I wanted a, a, a natural method of, of dealing with them. So I've got a pretty simple recipe here. Pretty much it's just garlic and uh, jalapeno pepper. And I've got to use a little bit of denatured alcohol, which is extra. The alcohol is going to help pull out the oleo resin capsaicum, the oily resin that makes the pepper hot. You can just use regular water. I'm just going to add that at the last step. But really all we're going to do is I'm going to crush up this garlic, mince it. And that's a lot of garlic for the size of my spray bottle. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the mash in here. So as the water, I use up the water, I can add more water, more alcohol, pull that uh, the oils out and, and get more than one jug out of it. So I'm using a lot to begin with. And then I've got a pound or so of jalapeno peppers. Same thing, we're going to crush, crush them all up, cut them all up real fine. We're going to put them in the pot with some hot water. And then we're going to, uh, to boil it down. And then I'm going to run it through my food mill and get a real good pulp. And we're going to put that in the spray bottle. This garlic's got some antibacterial properties. In a little later video, we're going to show you how to make a garlic tincture that's good for stuff like athlete's foot. You can get it for uh, ear infections. I've tried it for that. It didn't work very good with, for me, but uh, it does help a little bit of it with my athlete's foot, at least personally. You know, I'm no doctor, so I can't tell you what to use as medicine, but I do believe I can tell you what I have personal experience with, as long as I don't make specific medical claims, you know what I'm talking about? So uh, we'll show you how to make the tincture a little later, you know, and since it's just basically garlic and alcohol, It, uh, it's not going to hurt you or nothing. The worst that could happen is it don't help. Now we're going to boil this up real good and get it soft and then we're going to run it through the field, food mill. So I'm not trying to get it all perfectly smashed up and minced. You know, if I was doing this for a tincture for medicine or whatever, you know, I'd try to follow certain amounts. But this is just going on my flowers to keep the beetles away. So it's really not as imperative to me that I follow a particular recipe. Same thing with my peppers. I'm not trying to make them pretty or nothing. I'm just trying to get as much of that oil out. Now I'm concentrating these oils in down so that it uh, gets on the leaves and gets the pests away. So you want to be real careful when you go and put this out if you choose to use this that you don't uh, burn yourself because it is hot as the dickens. Now there it is. And I'm just going to boil it. <coughs> Ooh. 
the vapors coming off have got me. Okay, I'm just gonna boil this and render it down and add some more water and render that down and I'm trying to get this soft and mushy so when I put it through my food strainer it'll pu puree it real good. I want you to notice something. If you're doing this and you're standing over the kitchen you're gonna start coughing and hacking because the oils are going to evaporate before the water does. Okay, and I don't want to lose that. Well, the reason I'm boiling is because I want to break everything down. But I want to keep as much of the oils in the in the solution as I can. So all I've done is I've taken taken a lid, a domed lid, flipped it upside down, and so the steam's condensing and dripping back down into it. Okay, I'm not trying to boil the oil out. I'm just trying to soften everything up so I can run through my food mill. You know, alternatively, you could throw this in a blender, but I'm using my food mill instead because, you know, the whole purpose of the uh, Southern Prepper One's video was what happens if you can't afford pesticides, right? If you can't afford pesticides, you might not have electricity to run your food processor. Theoretically, if this was a pressure cooker and I had a line running off like my steam boiler, which would make a, a distiller distillation unit, right? Um, the steam that's coming out, some of it's escaping out the sides, but the steam coming out, it's got some of the, the oils in it, okay? And when the steam and the oils are mixed, they call that hydrosols, okay? And that's how they steam distill essential oils. So the plant matter stays behind, but a lot of the essential oil mixed with the steam comes out, it's distilled out, comes off to a condensing unit, and it drips down. And then all you have to do is extract the oil from the water and then that's how they make essential oils so that's how they make some essential oils and I didn't want to get into too much of, of that that's starting to get complicated um, but it's basically that same principle and that's where this dome comes in because a lot of this is just dripping back down and condensing and you can see a drop you might have been able to see a drop of that right there so my peppers and stuff are pretty soft uh, I probably ought to cook it for a little bit longer, but uh, I'm impatient. I'm going to strain off a lot of this water. There's my OXO food mill that I did the review of with the um, applesauce video. And I've got the largest strainer plate installed because I'm just wanting to break this up more than crush it. Okay. And at the uh, coarse plate it makes short work of that uh, pepper. And every once in a while I'll just back it up and push the stuff back through the hole. If I would have paid more attention to the recipe, you know, and the amounts, and wouldn't have put the seeds and everything in there, right, took a little bit more care. This is pretty much a pepper mash, which is the very beginning of a hot sauce. But basically, this is hot sauce. And we'll make some hot sauce in a later video with the correct amounts. Now all I'm going to do is just top that off with my denatured alcohol and because I'm using denatured alcohol um, that makes this non-edible, non-potable. Okay? But this in itself as you saw in the earlier video on the woolly uh, aphids this kills certain kind of bugs too so the peppers kill some kind of bugs the garlics work on others, and then this alcohol works on others. But the three together work on a wide variety, and the alcohol also helps extract a lot more of the uh, volatile oils from the peppers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let that sit and cool and uh, do its job for uh, 24 hours or so 
and then I'm going to go out and spray my plants tomorrow in the evening time after my field bees have come home. You don't want to spray it during the day because even though I'm not going to spray this on blossoms, some of it might get on some blossoms. And then the bees, I don't want them to take it back to their house, even though this is a lot safer than um, pesticides, other types of chemicals, because a lot of this works more on um, making the bugs go away rather than killing them. Okay. All right, so we've let it sit out overnight, and all we're going to do is we're going to mix our water pepper oil mix with our alcohol pepper oil mix, and we're going to strain all this goop out. We're going to put the goop, the, the leftover in like a mason jar with some alcohol so that it, it is um, always making some more all right okay it's about five o'clock in the afternoon got our spray bottle just gonna spray all over our stuff yep i did it up wind <laughs> Luckily, in a younger and, and alternate life, I got a little used to pepper spray. Alright, so we sprayed all our stuff real good. And we'll see how that, how that does. Until next time, you can always catch online. www.tngun.com